If you're a parent trying to guide your tiny humans through the world and sometimes struggle to keep it all together, join the club. If you're looking for someone to commiserate with, along with a big dose of comedy, allow Jesse Cruikshank to help. Be totally honest when it comes to babysitting. Are you doing it for your genuine love of children or the money? The money, like, I, you know. Okay, well, points for being honest, I guess. <laughs> that is Cruikshank interviewing potential babysitters in her new show, New Mom Who Dis. Fans and viewers have been following along her pregnancy journey from its Beyonce beginnings to the arrival of twins Diego and Rio, and that journey is continuing with the same candor and comedy that makes her so loved. So Jessie Cruikshank is joining us in studio this morning. Hello. Hi. That was so <laughs> nice. Oh, Thanks. I didn't Hi. write it. Our producers did. Oh, but well, I would say all the same things. them later. Yes. <laughs> And you and I were just talking backstage about how exciting it was that your son went to the potty by himself last night. Seriously. So these are the these are the things we get excited about these I know. days. We do, we do. Um, you are a new mom. Well, 18 months in with the with the twins, and it has been an incredible journey sharing it online. But you've got this new show. So where did the idea for that one come from? I think basically I, I started in comedy. Everything I've done has always been sort of comedy. I, I'm really good at just hiding behind making jokes. And then when I got pregnant with twins, I sort of tried to hide that too. And eventually, I mean, maybe you can hide a one baby pregnancy, but a twin pregnancy was pretty tough. So when I decided to sort of share that with the world and um, I had a lot of really challenging complications there and I decided like, I'm not gonna hide. I'm not gonna pretend like everything's perfect. I'm gonna present the real side of what it is to be a mom, a mom of twins for the first time. And, um, and, I'm, and I wanted to do it on a weekly show in a way that I could really kind of be funny and open and honest about this crazy journey that is motherhood. <laughs> you just hear them screaming in the oh. background as you're trying to do your job. I know, by the way, I decided that I should include my one-year-old twins in my show and I regret, I regret the decision. Seriously, because yeah. life is chaos yeah. with tiny humans. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of unsolicited advice that comes when you're a parent and I gave you some backstage. Yeah because we do it all the time. Yep. Um, so here's your chance, unsolicited advice to the people who are watching, what do you need them to know about being a parent? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, first of all, I'm not gonna judge them because I have received the most insane commentary, as I know you have, on like being a mom, on feeding my kid a non-organic blueberry. It, it, like the mommy shaming thing is real. So I will never judge another parent. I will just, my unsolicited advice is like, Everyone always says to me, how do you balance it all? And I'm like, I, I don't. I don't balance anything. I, I actually don't think it's possible to really have that balance. So don't try to do it all. Just try to do your best and trust mm. that your best is more than good enough for your child. I love that. Uh, the best line I ever heard was, uh, your kids don't need a perfect mom. They just need a happy mom. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Right? It's so true. So that leads us well into our next question because you've you've called out the perfect Insta moms because they're out there with, pretending everything is all fine and that it's easy and it's uh, it's flawless mm -hmm. and that's not your approach at all. It's a, it's a real approach. Does that come with a, a hard sense of vulnerability? Putting yourself yeah. just out there? Yes, because as I said, I always like to just make a joke and move on. Like I never really ever felt comfortable revealing any kind of deep side of myself. And then I had a really scary pregnancy complication. And up until that moment, I had been posting on Instagram like every other perfect mom, you know? I was like in a cute dress, looking like everything was perfect. And it, uh, underneath all of that, it really wasn't. And one day I decided that I was gonna share with my followers and people who have grown up watching me what was really going on. And when I did, I was overwhelmed at the response I got by women who had been dealing with infertility or ha pregnancy complications or really, really serious things who were saying thank you for sharing. And that was the moment where I thought, well, this is it. There's no going back. Like now I I've gotta be real because there are so many women out there who are desperate for that. And we're so glad you did, Jesse. Thank you for being here this it's morning. Such a pleasure. So good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Oh my God, <laughs> you too.